Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. The first point to note about 4G is that it can quite happily handle a voice service like Skype or Viber. But this is what's called an over-the-top voice service, which is out of the control of the 4G service provider. In the context of voice here, we are talking about a voice service that the 4G service provider offers to the customer. Now, the problem is 4G only provides a mobile broadband data connection. It does not inherently support voice services. Now, when we look at voice being exchanged between two devices in an LTE network, we actually see a flow of voice over IP packets. Now, because LTE does not inherently support voice, we actually need a separate network in order to offer voice services. It's called an IP multimedia subsystem. And it's the IP multimedia subsystem that gives us our service control. It allows us to set up a call and ultimately terminate a call. Now, overall, you might be familiar with the term VOLTE, voice over LTE. And this, in basic terms, is what a VOLTE network would look like. You need an LTE network to transport the voice, but you also need an IP multimedia subsystem to coordinate the actual voice service itself. If you don't have these elements, you can't offer a voice service. Well, what does that mean? Well, ultimately, if we don't have VOLTE, when a customer wants to make or indeed receive a voice call, we need to push them to 2G or 3G through a system called circuit switch fallback. And using circuit switch fallback, they will just leave 4G, enter 2G or 3G, and just make a normal voice call. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.